Good evening, Ryan Packer, Nasty Self Yoga. Hope you're doing really good. This is daylight saving time, so we get an extra hour today. I figured I would use this hour to do a yoga practice. Hopefully, uh, we can help you enjoy yoga practice as well. This time, I'm going to get a little bit creative. I like to change things up and challenge myself. I'm going to try to do a challenging yoga practice, very strong yoga practice in just 30 minutes. I don't know how my breath is going to hold out. It might be a little challenging for me. I've done yoga a couple times already today, but uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a solid workout for you and go in the whole way. We're also going to work towards Hanumanasana, which is full splits. So we'll be able to do different variations. If you can't go all the way down, over time you will be able to. Uh, it's shocking, but just be gentle with yourself. Be okay with wherever you are. And uh, I'll show you how to use props. And if you don't want to go anywhere near it, you can always just do a, a deeper hamstring stretch when we get to that point. But we're going to have to get to this stuff really quickly. So, letting, sitting up with a tall seat, thanks for joining me. Shoulders away from your ears or just relaxing your shoulders. Bring your shoulder blades together, back behind you. Your hands onto your knees into a comfortable space. Sitting with a tall spine. Deep breath, belly to spine. Breathing in and out, using this time to focus on the inside, coming into the present moment, relaxing your jaw and your face, focusing on your breath. The breathing will begin to get deeper. And the key to a good strong yoga practice is being able to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Calm and steady practice. It's not just about the movements. It's about the breath and being in the present moment, understanding what is happening in the present moment. Your body is dynamic. It's never the same from one breath to the next. Each breath has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Then the next breath starts. That's why focusing on your breath allows you to stay in the present moment. If you're focusing on this current breath, you can't be focused on any other moment than now. As your breath gets deeper, try to get the inhales the same length as the exhales and try to cultivate that through the entire practice no matter how fast we go. I'm going to try to do a fast flow this time. Especially in the beginning, so just allow your body the time to get the oxygen early on, feeding the oxygen as deep into the lungs as possible. Okay, blinking your eyes open. Coming up to standing. Standing at the top of your mat, we'll start off with our sun salutations. But first off, we want to get our good tadasana, our good mountain pose. Bring your feet about hip width distance, uh, grounding through all four corners of your feet, the big toe mount, your little toe mount, outside and the inside of your heel. You've got your hips directly over your ankles, your shoulders directly over your hips. You've got your tailbone tucked, lifting the pit of your abdomen, shoulders relaxed, shoulder blades together, belly to spine. Just noticing how you feel, and we're going to try to keep this the entire time. But starting off with our sun salutations. Inhale, lifting your arms up over your head, take a deep breath in, lengthen through your spine, exhale, hinge forward, forward fold, bend in your knees if you need to, inhale, lengthen halfway, bring your fingertips to the ground, exhale, plant in your hands, step or hop, at the wrong guy, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, this is a little bit more advanced, you're a little more warmed up, exhale, up and back, downward facing dog, taking five breaths. In through the nose and out through the nose. This is your first down dog. Bend one knee, let one heel drop. Bend the other knee, letting the other heel drop. Lifting your hips up and back behind you, pressing your back towards your chest, towards your thighs. Spreading your fingers wide. Pressing into the tips of your fingers and your finger bones. You want your creases of your wrist parallel with the front of the back. And you want your index finger pointing straight forward. But your fingers are spread really wide. Inhale, lifting your heels. Look forward between your hands. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or hop, forward fold. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, lifting all the way up. Arms above your head, a little bit of a back bend. And release. Exhale, forward fold. Ending your low down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands. Step for hop. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Feeling the back bend. Shoulders away from your ears. Shoulder blades down your back. Lifting up. And then exhale up and back. Over your toes. Downward facing dog. With each breath, finding a little bit more openness in your body. Calming, cleansing breaths. Working your heels down. Inhale, lifting your heels as far between your hands. Bend your knees. Step or hop. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Roots rise, lifting all the way up. Arms above your head. Lengthen the spine and exhale one more time. Forward fold. Empty it out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Five breaths. In through your nose and out through your nose. Deep as part of your lungs, calming the mind, feeding the oxygen, the body, the oxygen that it needs. Lifting your hips up and back behind you. All right, inhale, lifting your heels. Look forward between your hands, bend your knees. Step or hop, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, lifting all the way up. Arms above your head and exhale your hands into your heart center. Shoulders away from your ears. Shoulder blades down your back. Deep breaths. Over time, as your hips get a little more open, maybe you're Big toes come together, your heels come apart. Just bring the awareness inside your body. Notice how you're feeling. Now, sun beat. Inhale, lifting your arms up. Exhale, bending your knees. Chair pose, Uskatasana. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, forward fold. Straighten your legs. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, your right foot slides forward as you rise up on the same breath in, keeping the hips square, right hip back, left hip forward, and exhale, release, hands frame your right foot, stepping back, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, your left foot comes forward, rise up, toes straight forward, knee over the ankle, hips square, rolling your right Side ribs forward, exhale, release, hands frame, exhale, continue, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, five breaths, deep, calming, cleansing breaths, here we go. Inhale, lifting your heels, look far between your hands, bend your knees, step or hop, forward fold, inhale halfway, exhale forward fold, up and back into your chair pose, Uttatasana, arms up by your ears, inhale, rise up to the top, exhale your hands into your heart center, shoulders away from your ears and down your back, taking some deep breaths in and out. All right, inhale, lifting your arms up one more time. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, bend your knees, sinking down into your chair pose. Inhale, your hands into your heart center this time. Lengthening through your spine. Exhale, twisting your left elbow over your right knee. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. And exhale, twist a little more. You can open your arms if you'd like to. Make sure your knees are parallel. One knee likes to sneak forward to the other one. But just feeling a nice twist here. Then bring your hands back into prayer position, staying in your twist. Your weight comes into your right foot, your left foot gets light, and you extend your left foot straight back behind you into your twisted lunge. Inhale, lengthens the crown of the head, exhale, opens for the twist. You can bind if you'd like to. Deep breath in and out. You gotta work on getting the hips open so we can get into our Hanuman. Inhale, back into center. Bring the hands back behind your body. Pressing the knuckles down, lifting your chest up, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, hinging forward into your humble warrior. Eventually, you'll be able to get your forehead all the way to the ground. Your shoulder blades come together. 
your equal weight into both feet, pressing your palms together, lifting them up and away. Steady breath. All right, release, inhale, lifting up. Bring your hands to frame your right foot, straightening your right leg into a deep hamstring stretch. This one's going to be like the first deep stretch to the back of the hamstring, working our way down in towards Hanumanasana. You can lift your toes, maybe pressing the heel down and isometrically pulling it back. You can press your fingers forward, anything that you like. All right, now getting deeper, bringing your bending into your right knee. Your right elbow comes inside of your right knee as you sink down. Hugging your right knee in towards your right side body, steady breath. In through your nose and out through your nose. You can work your right shoulder underneath your right knee and come into your bind if you'd like to. But again, we're mainly working deeper into this right hip. Alright, lifting up. Bring your hand down. Left hand down, stepping your right foot towards the back of your mat. Into your side plank, Bossy Stockman. This is our core work. Lifting up, dropping your head back, lengthening through your arms. Deep breath in and out. And release. Your right hand comes down. Vinyasa through. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Lift your heel. Look forward between your thumbs. Exhale. Bend your knee. Step or hop. Forward fold. Inhale. Lift and halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up and back into your chair pose, Utkatasana. Weight back into your heels, look down. Knees are parallel. You can see your toes. Inhale, hands in your heart center, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, twist your right elbow over your left knee. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. All right. Then the weight comes into your left foot, your right foot gets light, and you extend it straight back behind you into your twisted lunge. Feeling a different part of your body opening into this twist. You can open your arms if you'd like to. You can come into your bind, rolling your left shoulder up and open. Steady breath. And releasing that. Inhale, rising up into your crescent pose. Opposite interlace with your hands back behind at the small of your back. Pressing your knuckles down, lengthening through the crown of your head. As you lengthen, hinging forward, humble warrior. Your left shoulder comes inside of your left knee. You hug your left knee in. Your palms come together. Your forehead may come to the mat or it may not, and that's okay too. The main thing is getting a little deeper into our left hip, finding that opening. Inhale, rising up. Take a deep breath in, up tall. Bring your hands to frame your left foot. Straightening your left leg. Hamstring stretch. Pulling your left hip back, your right hip forward. You can press down into your heel, peel your toes up off the ground. Steady breath, in and out. Just getting deeper into that hamstring because we're going to get really deep into it with Hanuma. All right, bending into your left knee. Coming down into lizard pose. Steady breath. You can work your left shoulder under. Bring your left hand to the small of your back. And then bring your right hand back behind for the bind. Steady breath, in and out. Opening our hips. All right, releasing that. Bring your right hand down. Step your left foot towards the back of your mat. Side plank, lifting your hips. Steady breath. Working on our core. Deep, steady, calming breaths. And then your left hand comes down, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, up and back, downward facing dog, deep breath, in and out. All right, inhale, rolling forward and towards your plank, just hang out here, pressing your heels back, you can sway side to side in your hands, fingers are spread wide, belly to spine, lifting your thighs, pressing back through your heels. Now we're going to stay here for several breaths, we're building that core strength, still building the core strength. Now we're going to work towards some chaturanga push-ups. We're going to do 10 of them. You can come to your knees if you'd like to. Otherwise, stay up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Your shoulders are at elbow height. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. 
Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Elbow straight back. Inhale up. Two more. Exhale down. Inhale up. Last one. Exhale down. Inhale up. Now exhale down. Lifting up into your cobra pose. A nice back bend. Steady breath. In through your nose and out through your nose. And then exhale up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting your heels, look far between your hands, bend your knees, step or hop, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, lifting your left leg straight back behind you, standing split. You can bring your weight into your right foot. One hand towards your ankle, steady breath. Working on our inversions. Maybe both hands to the ankle. Lifting the back leg high. Lengthening from the center part of your hip. All right. From here, we're going to bend our right knee. Bring the left knee behind the right. Inhale, straight back up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straight back up. Working our hips. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straight back up. Two more. Exhale, bend. Inhale, back up. Last one. Exhale, bend. Bring your left knee over top of your right. Sinking back into our cow face pose, getting deeper into our hips. Steady breath. You want to try to stack your knees right over top of each other. You want to work your sit bones down. If you don't get your knees right directly on top of each other, that's okay. This is cow face. We can work on our shoulders. Right legs over, lifting the left hand. Left hand comes down the back, the right hand comes out, thumb down. Opening up our shoulders, looking up, deep breaths. Couple more breaths. And then release. Bringing the right foot flat on the ground. Lifting into your standing splits one more time. And then bend your right knee, reaching back into your lizard pose one more time. Sinking down, bring your elbows inside of your foot. You can bring your right arm underneath your right thigh. And then walk your foot out. Grabbing the foot. Extending the leg long. To open up our hips. Preparing for Hanuma. Any variation of lizard is fine. Just whatever you're warming up, that is where you are. All right. Then releasing that. Stepping forward with the back foot. Forward fold. Steady breath. All right. Rooting down into your left foot. Lifting your right leg straight back behind you. Standing splits. Forehead comes down towards your knee. You can work towards your balance. One hand to your ankle, both hands to your ankle, lengthening, strengthening your ankle, pressing your left thigh towards the back of the room, lifting your kneecap, and then exhale, bring your right knee behind your left ankle, inhale, straighten back up. Exhale, the right knee behind the left ankle, inhale, straighten back up. Exhale, the right knee behind the left ankle, inhale, straighten back up. Two more. Exhale, knee behind the ankle. Inhale, straighten back up. Last one. Exhale, the knee behind the ankle. Then coming down, sitting on your seat. Your left knee on top of your right. Rooting down. Steady breath. Try to get your knees stacked up. This is really going to help to open your hips. We're really trying to open our hips here. If the left knee is over, lifting the right hand. Bring the right hand back behind you. Left hand comes out, interlacing the fingers, clasping the fingers, lifting up, looking up, opening your hips, opening your shoulders, steady breath. Deep breath, in and out. One sad thing is while I'm talking, I can't do my ujjayi breath, which I really enjoy doing, making a movie meditation. Now, releasing that, bring your left foot down, lifting your right leg straight back behind you, stepping back into your lizard pose. Your left hand comes inside of your left foot. Spreading your fingers wide. And again, any variation of lizard is fine. You can gradually walk the right foot out and maybe it just lifts up a little bit. Eventually, you'll be able to straighten the leg.
Steady breath. In and out. So that Hanuman isn't as challenging. All right, and then releasing that. And then stepping back into your plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, up and back. Downward facing dog. All right, inhale, lengthen your right leg straight back behind you. Three legged dog, working your left heel down, pressing your left thigh back. Exhale forward, you need your nose. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, you need your right tricep. You can lean forward if you like. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, you need towards your left tricep. Lean forward if you like. Inhale, straight back. Bring your right foot forward, plant it between your hands, cartwheeling up and open. Warrior two. Here we are. Shoulders away from your ears, down your back. Lifting your right palm, lifting into your exalted warrior. Straightening your right leg, you can lengthen the right side body. Extending forward, tucking the right hip. Right hand comes down, left hand lifts. Maybe I should have done this before the uh, standing split, but we're just experimenting here. Because my hips are really way open for this now. Bringing the left hand down. Lifting the back heel, maybe bumping the back foot in just a little bit. Revolve triangle. Inhale, lengthening. And exhale, twist. And then a little bit more. Plank pose. Side plank. Stepping your right foot back. Bringing the weight into your left hand. Steady breath. In and out. Now your right hand comes down and bring you through. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Moving towards the other side. Inhale, lengthen your left leg straight back behind you. Exhale, you knee to your nose. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, knee to your left tricep. You can lift up if you like. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, knee to your right tricep. Inch forward. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, knee to your nose. Plant your foot, rolling your back heel down, heel arch alignment. Heart rolling up and open. Warrior two, sinking down. Steady breath. In and out. Every exhale goes a little deeper. Flipping your left palm, lifting into your exalted warrior. Take a deep breath into the side ribs. Standing your left leg. And then extend forward until you can't extend forward anymore. Left hand comes down. Lifting the right, tucking your left hip under. Lengthening through the crown of your head. Pressing your left thigh back, stacking your right hip on top of your left. Deep, calming, cleansing breath. Nice triangle pose. Now, right hand comes down, lifting the back heel. We're bumping the back foot in just a little bit. Lifting into revolve triangle. In through the nose and out through the nose. All right, here we go again. Stepping back, side plank, lifting your hips. In and out. Wave, hello. All right, now the left hand comes down. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale up and back. Over your toes, downward facing dog. All right, it's time for our big pose. Inhale, lengthen your right leg straight back behind you. Three legged dog. Exhale, your right foot comes forward. Plant between your hands. Your back knee can come down or stay lifted. Straighten your right leg into your hamstring stretch. This is known as Ardha Hanumanasana, or runner stretch, or half of the full split. Pulling your right hip back, your left hip forward. Lifting your toes if you want to. All right, now, this is how I learned how to do Hanuman. I never wanted to do full splits. I never could do full splits when I was a kid. Uh, I never wanted to, and I never thought it was something that I could do. I didn't think guys could do it. Uh, I was one of those. But uh, how I did it, you start off with one of these bricks. And you use it kind of like a chair. You scooch that foot forward. All right. Notice it's got three different levels. This is the high level. This might be all you have today. But then it's got another level. Maybe tomorrow you'll be able to go to this level. All right. And then it's got another level. You can go even down further down. All right. Make sure that you're on the back. Top of that back foot. Eventually, what you'll find is you won't need a brick at all. Okay? You'll be able to stay right here like this, 
and just notice how you feel. All right, ready breath. Then we haven't really stretched a whole lot here, so let's see what we can do. We haven't stretched our quad or back, but just to see what's possible. something like that. Alright. Or you can take two blocks. Maybe you're lifting up. That's fine. You've got different levels. But just be gentle with yourself. This one's one that you can really hurt yourself. And then when you're ready, you can release. Stepping back. Then you opt through your chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Now it's time for the other side. Bringing the left foot forward. Plant it there. Back knee comes down, straightening the left leg. Left hip back, right hip up. And then sliding it forward. Using the block if you like. Steady breath. Eventually, you'll find enough stretch where you can do some cool stuff. You want to be directly on the top of this back thigh and the top of the back foot. Pressing out through the left heel. But you want to square your hips as well. So you can lift up. Again, you can bend the back knee. But you want to have a good alignment. You want the back knee straight back behind you. The challenge here is the balance. And it's just for fun, right? We're just having a good time. So, a couple more breaths. Wherever you are, if you're on your blocks, that's fine too. Eventually, you won't need them. And it's just for fun. All right. Lifting up, releasing that, pressing back, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. All right. Inhale, lifting your heels, look forward between your hands, exhale, bend your knees. See if you can hop all the way through to a seat. All right. Now that our hips are really open, Let's do something here. Left my leg. Grabbing your right leg, bringing the right foot into the crook of your left arm. This is like a hug my baby, rock the baby pose. I love my leg. The right hand comes underneath the right foot. The left hand comes over top of the right foot. The right hand comes down and then straightening the right leg, lifting up. This is your compass pose. You want your Right leg as high up on your right shoulder as you can. Maybe you look up towards the sky. Eventually you'll be able to put your leg behind your head. But again, it's just a function of the open hips. If you want to play some more, you can bring your hands down, lifting your foot up, and extending it out long for eight angles. Steady breath. All right. Relaxing that. Moving towards the other side. Cradling your left leg, rocking it back and forth, noticing how it feels. Now, bring your left hand underneath your left chin, the right hand over top. Bring your left hand down, straightening your left leg, looking up and underneath. Steady breath, lifting up as high as you can. All right. See, maybe this side's a little different. And then, see, you'll be able to get your foot behind your head. But, you know, you may be just working towards straightening your leg. And that's okay, too. All right. Now bring the, the, the leg as high up on the left shoulder as you can. Place your hands down. Cross your right over your left. And then lifting up. Extending out long. Keeping your shoulders square. The tendency is to dip down into the right shoulder. And again, it's not a strength or a struggle. I'm mostly balanced. Steady breath. See? It's all core. Alright, releasing that. Taking some deep breaths here. Let's lie on our back and do a couple of great poses. I think we're probably running out of time. It's amazing how it happens. So, you can do supported bridge if you want to, bringing the block to the sacrum or here. 
or bringing the soles of the feet just outside of hips with distance. Arms by your side, grabbing the side of your mat, pressing your feet, lifting your hips. Bring your hands to interlace. Steady breath for a bridge pose. Or you can bring your hands next to your ears, elbows facing up. Inhale, straightening your hands, lifting up to the top of your head, readjusting your hands, and then pressing up for a nice back bend here. You don't want your feet flaring out, you don't want your knees flaring out, you don't want to clench your butt. Just relax your glutes, deep breaths. Looking back down towards your mat, taking five deep breaths. If you want to lift the leg, you can root down, turning the left leg out, bending the right knee in, lifting the right leg, then bring the right knee back in and down, turning the right foot up, bringing the left knee in, straightening the left leg, bending the knee, bringing it back down, and then slowly coming down, chin to chest, Upper back, middle back, lower back. Take some deep breaths in. Windshield wipe your legs. All right, one more back. Bring the soles of your feet in. Bring your hands up next to your ears. Pressing into your feet. Lifting up onto the top of your head. You can do just another bridge or you can rest. Steady breath in and out. Trying to straighten your legs, pressing your chest through your arms, keeping your arms straight as though you're in a handstand. Steady breath in and out. And when you're ready, release upper back, middle back, and lower back. Bring your knees in towards your chest, dropping your knees over towards the right, looking over towards the left, keeping the left shoulder blade down. Inhale back into center, dropping knees over to the left, looking over to the right. The left hand can come on top of your right knee if you want to. Deep breaths in and out. All right, coming back into center. We're cooling down just a little bit. We hit the 30 minute mark. Surprise, surprise. So it's time for your Shavasana. Anything that you want to do before your Shavasana, feel free to do. You can come into a headstand. Or if you can do a shoulder stand, since we have not done an inversion, it's a nice grounding pose. It's a great way to relax, bring your elbows together, lifting your feet, hands come to support your low back. Nice deep breaths. You can release your toes back down behind you. You can release your hands if your toes touch, interlacing your fingers. Deep breaths. You want to do headstand. You want to bring your elbows in, grabbing onto your elbows, interlace your fingers, tucking your pinky finger under, bring the top of your head onto the ground, pressing into the forearms, lifting up on your toes, shoulders away from the ears and down your back. You can lift up into a pike. You can take 25, 20-25 breaths here. Inversions are great at the end of practice. Really brings the weight flushing back down into your head. Take the weight off of your spine. Calming breaths. Stay still is actually very relaxing since we did a lot of movement. Even though I'm upside down, I'm as relaxed as possible. And you can come down, however you like. Child's pose for here's the counter pose. Fish pose is the counter pose for shoulder stand. Child's pose is the counter pose for headstand. You can bring your arms by your side. Deep 
deep breath, noticing your spine and your vertebrae cracking and popping back into place with each breath. And then it's time for your Shavasana, just lying on your back, heels and toes, heels come together, lifting your hips up, moving them down, shimming your shoulders under, arms by your side, palms up. Take some deep breaths. Close your eyes and relax. Let your body absorb all the hard work that it's done. That was a good one. That was a 30 minute one. Uh, I'm always amazed at how things go. I'm always my biggest critic. Um, you know, maybe we should have done the warrior sequence before we did the standing split sequence. Uh, you know, you could have modified any of those poses as you wish. I hope you enjoyed that quite a bit. Uh, I actually really did. Uh, I've got an extra hour tonight, so maybe I'll do another one. Uh, <laughs> I've got an hour. What else am I going to do, right? Happy Diwali to all my Hindu friends. Um, it's a wonderful night of the festival, uh, five-day festival. Here's tomorrow with a celebration of light. Uh, good overcoming people. So I don't know where I stand in that fight, but uh, Hopefully, I'm on the good side. Uh, so anyway, thank you all for joining me. When you're ready, you can come into a comfortable seat at the top of your mat, taking some deep breaths, just like we started practice, taking that final inventory. And then bring your hands into prayer position at your heart center. I want to take this time to thank you all for joining me for this practice. I hope you enjoyed it. The more you do it, the more flexibility you'll get. Maybe you'll get deeper down into that Hanuman before you know it. Um, it's a great 30 minutes of your time and uh, I'll keep on pumping these videos out whether you watch them or not I hope you enjoy them give me some critiques down below in the comments thank you all very much Brian Packer back to yourself the knuckles up to the third eye center namaste namaste have a great day <laughs> thank you all <laughs>